everyone, this is Dave from Geekanoids and this is my review of the HTC Wildfire mobile phone. Now this is a slightly more compact but equally as useful Android based mobile phone from HTC. You get Google Android 2.1 OS installed on the handset, so lots of great features and then you get this HTC Sense overlay on top of the Google Android OS. Now the handset feels very well made. Before I give you a closer look at the handset, I am going to show you what else you get inside the box. Now you do get a supplied hands-free kit from HTC, little push to talk button on here, earbuds that go into the ear. They're not ear canal earbuds, so they just sit slightly inside the ear. Now also you get a little bag with some little foam tips in here that you can put over the earbuds and also a little clip so that you can clip that control with the mic in perhaps on a shirt collar or um, perhaps your coat for easy use. Now as well as that hands free kit you do get a USB cable it's a micro USB on one end and then a full size USB on the other and this is used for either transferring data to and from the handset or for charging the handset. Now the charger that HTC supply really really nice design this part here multi voltage charger USB socket on one end for this charging cable and then you get supplied an adapter for your country well, we're in the UK so we get this three pin UK adapter and you just pop the uh, USB tip onto it twist round and click into place and you're ready to go now you can get obviously country specific tips to go on here so if you do travel around you can pick up perhaps a, a US tip or a European tip and then you just rotate round and pop whichever tip you want to use on there for charging so that's really nice design now back to the handset let's take a closer look at this HTC Wildfire now you've seen before that I've reviewed the HTC Desire well this is what I would call just a sort of a baby brother of the HTC Desire it's uh, very well made indeed and it sports this nice 3.2 inch screen. The resolution on the screen is 240 by 320 resolution. Now inside it's running a 528 MHz processor so it feels nice and responsive when you're scrolling through things and when you're touching the screen and launching apps etc. So nice and responsive and inside you get some decent amount of memory as well. You get 512 megabyte ROM, 384 megabyte RAM, and then if I just pop this back cover off, which you do via this tab on the top here, you will see under the cover that there is a really large battery in here, and this is a 1300 milliamp battery so plenty of battery life and I was talking about memory well the memory installed inside the phone is complemented by this SD card slot just to the left hand side of the battery and this will support a micro SD card up to 32 gigabytes so let's pop this cover back on and continue to show you around the back of the handset now at the top of the, the handset at the back we've got a little speaker we've also got a camera and this camera is a 5 megapixel autofocus camera and it sports an LED flash as well and then on the bottom of the handset we have got a little lanyard connector now on this side we've got the volume rocker switch we've also got the charging port there for the micro USB cable this side's completely blank the bottom is completely blank apart from the microphone pickup for your voice and then the top of the handset we've got that little tab here for getting the back off We've also got the power on off switch and we've also got the three and a half millimeter audio jack. Now a few more specifications to mention for you is you do get Bluetooth 2.1, 802.11b and G Wi-Fi, GPS, a G sensor, compass, proximity and light sensors as well. Now let me just cover for you the bad points first. The screen is quite low resolution and it does notice plus I'm still not a fan of this optical trackball now it also acts as a button but I do find that I do get accidental swipes and input via this optical trackball 
I do like the touch sensitive buttons here for going to the home screen and accessing menus etc and for searching so I do like this touch sensitive area um, and I do really like the camera the flash is really good and it helps a lot when taking low light photos battery life is easily two days between charges so extremely good battery life and the call quality which after all is what a phone's all about well incoming voices via the speaker at the top here crystal clear and also the microphone at the bottom delivers excellent voice pickup so no complaints from people who are receiving calls from me if you're on a budget and you want a good Google Android mobile phone the HTC Wildfire is an excellent choice it's very well made it's constructed of a mixture of metal and plastics even part of the back is actually metal as well so very very good construction and it's going to cost you around about £219 SIM free unlocked in the UK. You can get it also free on contract. Or if the, you're in the US and you want to pick up a SIM free model, it's going to cost you around about $370. But this was my review of the HTC Wildfire mobile phone. Thank you very much for listening. Please do come back soon and check out more videos on the Geekanoids channel. This video review is sponsored by EasyDraw, making drawing fun on Mac OS X.